late in this hour, Prophet Shepard Bushiri is taking legal action against the government of Malawi. Lawyers for the Bushiris say the state contravened a court order which categorically stated that the Bushiris should be summoned to court for their extradition matter next month and not to be arrested before then. A total of 30 policemen stormed Prophet Bushiri's residence on Sunday to effect their arrest, but they were not at home. This was the reason the legal team for the Bushiris sought an injunction that barred the police from arresting them before their extradition on the 8th of March 2021, and it was granted. According to Bushiri's lawyers, this constitutes a breach of the court order. The couple's lawyer, Wapona Kita, questioned the motive for the botched arrest. Quote, precisely what up to now we don't appreciate. This is to say, where did the warrant stem from? Because the court itself set the date for the trial by the law summons. Because now this is the third attempt to try and arrest them. There are no conditions set by the court that was breached. Unquote. This move came to light after ATO Israel Abushiri was barred from getting medical attention in Kenya after they were referred to by a competent medical practitioner. The suspicion was that the Bushiris would skip Malawi for Kenya, a move that was rubbished by Prophet Shepard Bushiri during his service on Monday. There, there are people who are your enemies, all right? You know, there are people who just, they just hurt you. You have done nothing, they just want to talk about you, you know? You know, I, I heard it somewhere, some people talking uh, yesterday. We were in the service here, like, oh, so, so, a uh, Bushiri was trying to run away. Bushiri, how, how can I run away from my country? <laughs> there is no one in this country looking for money. No one, no one is coming to me trying to kill me. Nobody is trying to do so. Well, well, running from what? You know, so, but they, they just have to do it because they hate you. Israel, who is reportedly in a critical state, has consequently been admitted to the same hospital that referred her to the health facility in Kenya. Meanwhile, a pressure group, the Human Rights Defenders Coalition, has asked government to allow Prophet Bushiri's child to travel to Kenya for medical attention, adding that they believe in the sanctity of life. Believe in the sanctity of human life. Human life is sacred. Human life must be protected. And if the child's life was at stake, we wish government considered the life of that child. The other logistics aside, but the sanctity of this child's life is and needs to be protected. Let the child have access to services, health services. Let this child travel we also implore upon Prophet Bushiri and his accomplices to make sure that they exhaust all procedures that are required under the law in this country when you want to travel for medical services elsewhere. We believe that the best and the utmost we can do is to save the life of this child.